Shalom. Call Halal Yahweh Bashanah with Shai by Hashem Rakakradash. Double honors unto the apostles, double honors unto the elder bishops. Salutations to all my fellow laborers doing this work in truth and sincerity, risking their lives and their freedom to do so now more so than ever. To the scattered elect that are scattered around the four corners of the earth, that be like unto the speckled bird, the Israelite foreigners. And to the aquaf that are listening and learning. To you, I say Shalom. This is your brother Malcolm from the branch of the Great Millstone here in Chicago. Coming at you with another lesson in truth. And um, man, as a plethora of videos, I think I want to keep it to a minimum or I can stretch this thing out and, and do maybe a, a two or three video series on the subject matter. But, you know, talking about the condition of our people, um, Apostle Kabar, you know, once said that, uh, you know, many times he said that uh, there's been wise sayings from, from, from the past. It said you can tell the condition of a nation by the condition of its women. And when you look at women of the West, and, and not just the Israelite women, this is literally the women of the West. Um, you know, and then what makes it so bad for our women that our, our women are, the, are, you know, the, 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 the daughters of the of the people which are the apple of the Lord's eye. So it makes it worse. All right, because they've completely, and not all our women, there's a few sisters out there who are struggling and trying, you know, to, to, to uh, you know, to follow along and, and, and support, you know, uh, the truth that we do and, and uh, woken up to the fact that they're Israelites and trying to readjust their lives and follow law, statutes, and commandments. There's, there's some of you sisters out there and, and you know, so this is not talking about them. This is talking about that mass majority of these two-third women who uh, who abuse the system, which is completely set against their people and against their men. All right. Um, and the system is set up to elevate the women over us and to destroy us. This was really aimed at the Israelites. Problem is, is now that it's affecting the other nations, mainly the so-called white man, which is the only reason why they're bringing it up. And it's becoming a problem now because the result of this has helped on top of the fact of the drugs and the man-made stuff that take people out um, and, and, the, and the, you know, and the opioids and all the things that decreased the numbers of the Edomites. Uh, the fact that their women are constantly, you know, uh, into this hookup culture and the fact that their women are constantly hooking up with uh, Jacob and other men of color, you know, their numbers are dwindling, all right? And these, and then the ones that are having babies, you know, they're waiting until they're in their late 30s and 40s to do so, and they don't have a lot of success. All right, so the numbers are dwindling. That's the only, that's the main reason behind this, uh, this Roe v. Wade thing. All right, was really to preserve the so-called white race because you you keep seeing people making videos saying they're becoming or going to become the minority. They've been the minority. All right, they're labeling people of color as white people just to fabricate the numbers to raise their numbers up. People that come from different parts of the Middle East that are not white, that are brown, that are brown in complexion, people that come from North Africa, you, you, they even like some Ethiopians, Somalians and things like that. These people are labeled as Caucasian. And many of these people are darker than the, uh, the brother you see in the corner whose video this is. All right. And, and by the way, uh, this is a great work that this brother did. This is the poor man's podcast. All right. And it's called, uh, Wife called cheating at Walmart. And at the end, you know, and at the end of the video, you know, uh, there was a survey being done where the uh, the wife uh, uh, and the husband are put to a test of honesty and the wife refused to open her social media. So you already know why. OK, the, the, the son, I mean, the father, the husband gave up his phone, his his uh, his messaging quickly, but the wife refused to do so. All right, but um, but let me grab a description real quick before you know I go any further. And this is uh, uh, Ecclesiastes twenty five and twenty four, and it says, "Of the woman came the beginning of sin, and through her we all die." I was an angry, blue-haired feminist. I once believed that male privilege was real and that I was a victim of the wage gap. Now that I understand the true motives of feminism, I know that this could not be further from the truth and that modern-day feminism is a war on true masculinity. Yeah. Before women had the right to vote, most were stay-at-home wives, which meant they weren't working jobs and couldn't be taxed. Our overlords didn't like that. Rockefeller started funding feminist campaigns in media, and as a consequence of the movement, women started entering the workforce and leaving the home. Children 
children would then be separated from their parents and sent to Rockefeller-funded schools to be indoctrinated by the state. All of this ultimately disrupting the family unit at its core. Feminism is... And this is following, you know, when you follow after Esau Edom, the so-called white man, that's what happens. Let me grab another scripture and then play another another video while this one is frozen on the screen. Uh, That's what I wanted. It's just so many things going in my mind. And it's completely done, you know, through the spirit. This is being done raw. No, no, no precepts written down or uh, no preparation. I just saw these videos and decided, you know what, I got to go in. So this is Daniel 8 and 25. And, and it reads through his policy. So this man is constantly writing uh, laws and things like that, prescribing mischief by law. That's another scripture I may get later. That uh that destroys people, all all being done for profit. It says, and through his policy, also he shall cause craft to prosper in his hand, and he shall magnify himself in his heart, and by peace shall destroy many. He shall also stand up against the prince of princes, but he shall be broken without hand. So the result of the woman leaving the uh the the the, the home. What it caused was uh, the destruction of the of the American family uh, overall, and now it's affecting white America as well. But it completely annihilated so-called black and brown America, especially so-called black America first. It was really aimed at them, all right. And um, you know, and then all the laws, all the uh, oppressive laws that were placed to to to, to further destroy the men, uh, that that was mainly aimed at the so-called black man, all right. But the, all these people fell for a hook, line, hook, line, and sinker, and mostly it was the women that 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 pushed this, all right, because they're the ones that subscribe to it. So, uh, and just like I was just watching a, a video with uh, with uh, Elder uh, um, Manata Zakba, out of, you know, out of the Carolinas, um, he he did a video uh, about deflection, and that's what he said. You people love to point out, you know, and attack the prophets for bringing out the truth. And, you know, and, 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 and you know, and they, oh, well, you teaching hate. Well, you know, hates in the Bible. The Lord talks about uh, those that he hates and who he hates. It be, it, you know, it's not our fault that, that Christianity has lied and teach a, uh, an unbalanced false doctrine about love, love, love and, and love over everything. All right. So uh, that that's, you know, that's, you know, that, that God loves everybody is just not true. OK, but. Uh, but here we go. 63% of youth suicides are from single mother homes. 90% of homelessness and runaway children are from single you mother homes. You can't put that on the mother. 85% of no. children who show behavioral disorders are from single mother homes. 80% of rapists with anger problems are from single mother homes. 71% of high, high school dropouts are from single mother homes. 70% of youths in operating institutions are from single mother homes. 80% of all the youths in prison are from single mother homes. You can't put that on the mother. Well, he didn't like, he, guys, guys, why is your immediate reaction you're blaming the woman when he's just reading a stat? And the reason I would put it on the woman is because you pick who you have a baby with. Yeah. We're in the UK now. Abortion's legal up to six months. You pick who you have a baby with. 63% of youth suicides are One more time. single mother homes. 90% of homelessness and runaway children are from single mother homes. You can't homes. put that on the mother. 85% of you know. children who show behavioral disorders are from single mother homes. 80% of rapists with anger problems are from single mother homes. 71% of high, high school dropouts are from single mother homes. 70% of youths in operating institutions are from single mother homes. 80% of all the youths in prison are from single mother homes. Guys, guys, why is your immediate reaction you're blaming the woman when he's just reading a stat? And the reason I would put it on the woman is because you pick who you have a baby with. Yeah, yeah. we're in the UK now. Abortions legal up to six months. So, you, you see what I mean? They don't want to take accountability for anything collectively. Women don't want to take accountability for anything they've done. And then people defend, uh, you know, defend their behavior. These, these, these chimpanzees come on the comic board and defend these queens, my black queens, you know. And I, and I don't, you know, I don't, you, look, the so-called Negro, Latino, Native American woman, they're some of the main women who, who, who create these, these situations uh, of being single. Right now, my uh my stepson, all right, he uh 
He has two beautiful children with a very attractive Ephraimite woman. God help him. <laughs> All right. But she she didn't she didn't put him on child support. He actually takes care of her. He chose he chose not to to uh to do a paperwork marriage with with Esau Edom. I mean, you know, he he, he practically grew up around me teaching and, and talking about this truth. Now, you know, he it's not like he's out there in the camp or, you know, standing on the line with me, anything like that. But he, you know, he's a man now, and he, but he takes heed to what he's, what he's seen, what he saw, what he's heard, all right, <laughs> to, uh, to a very minimal, but nevertheless, he does, you know, and so he decided, you know what, I don't, I don't want to do all that contract marriage with the state and all that stuff, because that's exactly what it is, and the state took it upon themselves to put a case against him, even though he completely supports and takes care of his children, all right? So now he's all freaking out because they started garnishing and taking his, his wages and stuff. And I, I've been warning him about this. I told him that, you know, I said, look, man, you might want to go do paperwork. I've been telling him for, 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 for you know, for his, his they're, they're two and three now. So I've been telling him, look, man, you, I told him a long time ago, do, go do the paperwork to get, uh, 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 because you doing it and don't do anything. Don't write, don't, don't, don't just give up. Uh, uh, I said, do everything you do. Uh, don't do it in cash, money orders, cashier's check. You need to have records of everything you've done. And I also told him to go ahead and file for uh, for full custody, knowing that he wouldn't get it, that they would, if you file for full custody, more than likely, you're going to get half. You're going to get, and, and if you have your children uh, uh, half of the year, I think it's up to 130 something days, you know, which is almost half. Uh, if you have them more than 130 something days, then there is no child support requirement. They can't come after you for it. And as we all know, child support is not for the child anyway. It's for the state treasury. They get paid pushing child support. This is why they enforce it. They don't give a damn about your children. If they did, they wouldn't force your children to be injected with all these things that, you know, that's been, well, I'll leave that alone. All right. They wouldn't, they wouldn't mess up the food, the air and the water, and you wouldn't have child trafficking and all this other stuff going in, going on in Babylon if they really cared about the children. All that, all that is, is, uh, you know, a play on the emotions of the people. That's why they name it that they name it child support. And it's really state support, you know, they, uh, just the same thing with taxes. All right. The IRS is operating illegally as well, but you know, that's going to lead us somewhere else. But nevertheless, as you can see, the following of this man, he, he destroys his own society, destroys his own people. All right. And, and most of this hate and these sort of things are aimed at you, at the, at, at the Israelites. But now it's having an effect on, on uh, the Edomite society, because I know a lot of uh, so-called white women that are doing in vitro or and, and jamming uh, Edomite men up on child support. They're getting hit with it hard because the curses are now falling upon them. But let's let them continue. Defined as the belief in social, economic, and political equality of the sexes. But in the West, I must ask, what rights do men have that women don't? Modern feminists are convincing women that hookup culture, using hormonal birth control, and not shaving is liberation. That toxic masculinity is prevalent and the patriarchy must be dismantled. Through movies and media, we're taught that working for the man, climbing the corporate ladder, and paying tax is more empowering and valuable than raising the next generation. Right. Women have lost touch with our natural loving instincts and wow. birth rates are plummeting. Men and women are not the same. And by protesting for a quality of outcome rather than opportunity. If you have high Sons blood pressure like me, you need to see this. I had high blood pressure because, well... Feminists are demonizing... Yeah, he probably had high blood pressure because he got married. <laughs> he had a, a contract marriage. Masculating men. Anytime you want to know who's responsible for something, start with following the money. That's start right. by asking yourself... Who benefits from that? When you push women into the workforce, you double it. And when you double the workforce, you double the amount of people that you can tax. And you also make labor cheaper because there are more people that are willing to work. Who benefits from that? Teaching women that slinging karma macchiatos for some lifeless corporation is more important than taking care of your own family. Who benefits from that? Pushing women into the workforce, making it so that there's nobody home to cook a healthy meal. Now you gotta go eat fast food. Who benefits from that? The truth of the matter is corporations have always influenced popular culture for the sake of long-term financial growth. That's Most right. Most people don't know this, but John D. Rockefeller... This is Psalms 94 and 20. Shall the throne of iniquity have fellowship with thee? which frameth mischief by law. All these things were framed by law, all right, mischief, wicked, in order for them to profit and to, and the destruction 
and you know, at the cost of the family. And that's exactly what happened. All right was single-handedly responsible for prohibition. He funded organizations like the Anti-Saloon League to spread propaganda to go against alcohol. He did this because Rockefeller is an oligarch. He's in the business of slanging oil and at one point alcohol in the form of ethanol. Same thing happened with the medical industry. You know, these petroleum-based medicines and then, you know, and, 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 uh, you know, and he also got gained control over the medical industry as well pushes petroleum-based medicines over the stuff that was already being used, and I won't say any more on that. ...was a cleaner and more efficient fuel for cars than oil was. You know what you don't know is, you know, alcohol prohibition was also because of John Rockefeller. He supported anti-alcohol groups and blew them up and donated millions to blow them up to outlaw alcohol because he saw it as a threat to gasoline. Even the for those of you who don't know, just a quick... Inf uh, 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 Sidebar, that there was Eddie Bravo. That's who uh, Joe Rogan got his uh, his black belt from. And 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 Eddie Bravo was the creator of Tim Plant Jiu Jitsu, which uh, basically started his own form of no gi Jiu Jitsu. And I just thought I'd share that because Jacob is the former of all things. All right, but let us continue. The man, the myth, the legend, Henry Ford said himself, alcohol was a cleaner and nicer, better fuel for automobiles than gasoline. But that didn't really matter because after years of alcohol is bad propaganda, we outlawed alcohol and got kicked into prohibition. Oh, yes. And this is not a conspiracy theory. Alcohol prohibition was all backed by uh, John D. Rockefeller. Whoa, anything, whoa, whoa, anything... whoa, whoa. It was a threat to gasoline? Yes, alcohol. Because they he, thought people were going to make like ethanol? He wanted to crush the ethanol business, right? But the way he did it is to create this hysteria with drink. We, everyone has a drinking problem. No. Everyone's killing each other. And you know what ended up happening? They out, same thing. They outlawed uh, alcohol. You couldn't drink alcohol. And some people may ask, well, what happened to the ethanol business? Turns out there was a law that passed that says you can still make ethanol for cars, but you have to put petroleum in it so people don't drink it. But they said, what about the alcohol for cars? And, and uh, they wrote in the law that you could still make alcohol for cars but you got to put petroleum in it so that people don't drink it so it oh made it God. it killed the business so now they got to put oil in it if you want to sell it oh and then it killed God. it killed all he dude he killed everything this man single-handedly killed the ethanol business by funding propaganda and influencing popular opinion They're and that's what that's and this is how esau edom operates with everything with everything Anything, and that's the same thing he does when against the Hebrew Israelites when they bring out the truth that's in the Bible. What instead of instead of acknowledging that, wait a minute, that's actually what the book says. They're they're teaching what the book says. No, they come against it with false uh, with these funded uh, people like like uh, uh, Vocab Malone and the lies that they teach in these seminary schools. All right, which don't even match up with what the scholars wrote. Okay. So uh, this is Job 9 and 24, and it reads, The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He covered the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where and who is he? So, you know, Esau Edom covered up the faces of the judges and put his face up. And then he pushes forth his, his, uh, his way of life, his way of thinking, his vibration. And he's angry because he's being exposed. And mainly, not he's being exposed mainly by the Hebrew Israelites and the vibration of the Hebrew Israelites has spread to many other genres, including guys like this. There was no guys like him, like Kevin Sanders on the internet, uh, uh, until after the Hebrew Israelites started coming out and pointing out all these things about women and about the system and how corrupt it is and how it's destroying our people. All right? And now, and now as, a, as a result of it, the floodgates have been opened. And they're being exposed by everyone, including their own. There's a lot of Edomite women, you know? Hell, was it not an Edomite woman that, that, that chastised those women? For, uh, matter, matter of fact, let me go back and play it again. Let's find it again. All right, because they were they were sitting up angry at facts, at truth, and that's how you Israelites operate. You hate it when when you when your wickedness is put on on display, and you come with excuses without that whole I think and feel. And uh, like I said, and then everyone, hey, just because he's pretty with a fat ass and some titties that everybody has had, that everybody's had a turn with, you want to defend her anyway. All right. The abuse suicides are from single mother homes. Ninety percent of homelessness and runaway children are from single mother homes. You can't homes. put that on the mother. Eighty-five percent of no. children who show behavioral disorders are from single mother homes. 
80% of rapists with anger problems are from single mother homes. 71% of high school dropouts are from single mother homes. 70% of youths in operated institutions are from single mother homes. 80% of all the youths in prison are from single mother homes. Guys, guys, why is your immediate reaction you're blaming the woman when he's just reading a stat? And the reason I would put it on the woman is because you pick who you have a baby with. Yeah. We're in the UK now. Abortion's legal up to six months. You pick who you have a baby with. So there it is, man. So like I said, they don't want to take accountability for what they've done yet. I mean, either, you know, they don't collectively. Let's let them continue. There's a woman by the name of Sue Browder, who was a writer for Cosmopolitan magazine, the most influential magazine for women in the 90s, who said that she was paid to create propaganda. She openly talks about being paid to change female popular opinion by lying about facts, data and statistics to promote a more sex in the city lifestyle. They've done the same thing with history. All right. The same, the same exact thing was done with history over and over again. All right. Cosmo for about 20 years, and then I immediately fell from grace and started writing lies for Cosmopolitan magazine. Wow. You have to understand a bit about how propaganda works. It's used not to sell just products. It's also used to sell ideas. Mm. The truth of the matter is teaching women Hold that on. they'll find more fulfillment in working. Than that brings, used to sell ideas, that brings a, another scripture to mind. Um. And this is a scripture that all brothers use because it's so relevant to 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 what's going on now. All right. And this is uh, Ecclesiastes 10 and 8. Ecclesiasticus or the book of Sirach. And it reads, because of unrighteous dealings, injuries and riches got by deceit, the kingdom is translated from one people to another. So you can get your writers, your heralds to constantly push forth lies to get the people to to believe it then you can sway the thought press of the uh, thought process of the people and you already know how the people are going to maneuver and move before they even do and then you just fuel the fire uh in your favor this is how this has been the uh opus uh i mean the uh the mo I, what's the word modus operatus of of esau edom the so-called white man Building a family is very profitable, and wherever there's profit, there's probably some propaganda. There, like I said, there's there's more sinister implications here of why we're making manhood obsolete when we're saying masculinity is wrong. This is wrong. This is backwards. You don't need it. And normally, I despise this woman, but this is the second time that she said something that was actually that I actually agreed with. This uh, Candace Owens shit. Man, uh, you right. can you can just have a baby without a man. You're starting to see that sort of programming happening with young women. When you're telling women to act like men, you should aspire to the things that men naturally might aspire to. Mm -hmm. uh, when you remove the more natural feeling of men being providers and women being nurturers, which is a beautiful yin and yang that just works, right? Mm -hmm. So you're creating men to feel obsolete, and then women are complaining because men aren't being men. You know, it doesn't it doesn't work that way, mm -hmm. right? And not only that, then increasingly you're telling women to be the opposite of what I think men want you complain about men but are you being the type of a woman that a man would want mm. right to mm. self-perpetuating problem and then you say that and they oh my god cancer is a horrible human being and i'm i'm looking at you fucking commercials god damn it you. Going, I, I'm not a dude. I wouldn't date you. Exactly. Damn. Are you being the type of woman that a man will want? Because there are just too many women that are overvaluing their wop. And I'm going to let y'all know a little secret. Every woman has one and every woman thinks it's the best. And yeah, it might get a man's attention, but it isn't going to keep a man's attention. And this is why you see so many women getting pumped and dumped. Skeeted and yeeted ejaculate and evacuate because women are dating men that are out of their caliber and after they sleep with these women they realize that this woman right i just watched the video where the sister was going in on how her friends are going over to dubai to get pumped and dumped skeeted on and shitted on all right uh this is ecclesiastes 26 and 22 a harlot shall be counted as spittle but a married woman is a tower against death to her husband all right a wicked woman is given to the portion to a wicked man, but a, but a godly woman is given to him that fear of the Lord. All right. And that's what we're looking for, man. A, a, a godly woman who's actually going to uh, stand by our side and not and not let herself be slutted out and then still think that she has worth. All right. You know, or try to hide that fact. You know, when you finally land that that God has got all this money that he decides he wants to marry you. And then he then the video surfaces of you getting a train ran on you by some Arabs and a goat.
you know, and getting shit on. And then you wonder why no one wants you or wants to be with you. All right. Um, Ecclesiastes 26 and 24. A dishonest woman can contempt shame, but an honest woman will reverence her husband. A shameless woman shall be counted as a dog. But she that is shame faced will fear the Lord. All right. And we, we don't want the dog. We don't want the, the you know, the B-I-T-C, you know, whatever, you know, you know what I'm saying. All right. Nobody wants her. Okay. It has nothing of value to offer. The only way you can be considered as valuable is if you offer other people value. Most women want a man that can comfortably take care of himself and a family. And not only do they want that, they want him to pay majority or all of the bills. And that makes sense to me. But if I'm a man and I go to work to pay all of the bills, then how does you going to work benefit the family? And these same women will complain exactly. about having to do majority of the housework. Well, and see, Esau set it up, you know, and that's the problem now is that that's not a these these women going into the workforce knocks men out of the workforce and not and takes away jobs, which elevates the women over the men, which creates an imbalance in the family. And now women uh, are going to work and, and the children are left to the state. And well, that's what happens in the whole. And then they decide they don't want the man. And then it creates this this whole vicious never ending cycle. All right. Because now she gets divorced and now she's out there sleeping with all these different men again. And then her children grow up and well, you heard the statistics. All right. OK, and then, you know, and then we live in a system where if a man can't support his children, he gets put on child support. And if he can't afford to pay, he goes to jail and gets a criminal record in some cases. All right. Well, the woman gets.